Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have another diamond painting unboxing for you from Diamond Art Club. So the really kind people over at DAC sent me a kit to share with you here on YouTube and I'm so thankful. Thank you so much. And they know me so well. <laughs> I don't think they even asked. They just sent. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to get into this. How are you doing? How's your day so far? Um, mine is pretty good. It's, so I'm filming this a little bit ahead of time and the weather has been crazy here. It's been icy and snowy and all kinds of wonderful. Oof, that's a really heavy box. So this is the box I got and without further ado, because you've already seen it if you've if you've looked at Diamond Art Club's website before, if you've purchased from them before, you probably already have seen this on their site or on their Facebook, and it is Fuji Flora, which I will show you in greater detail here. Now, I have to put it down, it's very heavy. This is a 105 by 70 centimeter painting. It's quite big. Um, I'm gonna get this plastic off and I will return in one moment. Okay, here we go. So this is the kit. It comes with the label on the front side of the box and on the outside you can see the instructions and what comes inside this box. And I can feel that it is very heavy. This is a very large painting so we may have to back up a little bit or I may have to show it to you in sections. <laughs> this is not my normal filming setup. I'm still in the States and I'm going to be here until April so you'll have to bear with it a little bit longer I'm afraid. Um, so inside you get the kit itself which would be the canvas and the drills. You get a sticker that will go, you could put this on your on your box. The way that I store my boxes, I get this question a lot, the way that I store the boxes or the kits before I work on them I put them back in the box and then I stack them like imagine you know this is your cabinet I, I lay them flat so that the weight is evenly distributed along here so there's no pu puncturing or creasing or puckering that's the word I was looking for not puncturing um, and so I put this little sticker on this end of the box or you could put it here I like to put it here as well if it's a short box I'll put it here on this side um, but if it's a long box like this one I put it over the QR code um, or you can use it in your journal or you know whatever you want and then this is the sticker sheet for your you know if you have a drill organization system oh <laughs> please excuse the noise uh, that was just ice coming out of the the heat exchanger outside um, this is the the inventory sheet so it has all the symbols all the DMC numbers that are in the kit this is a sticker sheet so you can take off you can cut this uh, cut these up if you're interested to see how I did it the last time check out my video I'll put a little I card up here so you can see it um, but I just cut it so that I can easily peel them away and put them right onto the storage con container and then this I'll get really close for you. That's the picture. This is a Dominic Davison art and it's amazing. So I really like his style in diamond art. It's it's really pretty. I love Japan. Love everything Japanese. I know there's pandas in this garden, but it's still stunning. I, that is definitely supposed to be Fuji, Mount Fuji. These are Tori gates that are very commonplace in Japan. It even has the red bridge. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous picture. This has 66 colors in this kit, so that's awesome. Um, and then inside it also has a toolkit. So inside the toolkit, you get everything that you need to start diamond painting. If you're a beginner, uh, this is really helpful. If you're not a beginner and you are getting a lot of these kits, now these kits come with every diamond painting. There's no way for the company to not give them to you, but there are w things that you can do with the kit. For example, you can donate the supplies to kindergartens or daycare centers. They really love the little trays for their art classes. Um, 
Baggies can be used for a lot of things. The wax, I mean, you could save it or you can donate it to other diamond painters. That's always a, a, an idea. And if you buy a lot of these, I mean, you could you could potentially sell the kits if you wanted to, but um, I just, I keep all of mine. So um, yeah, it comes with tweezers, pen, baggies, the uh, wax, two plates of wax, a squishy, a multi-placer, and a clear drill tray, which I really like because then you can see it through a light pad. All right, let's put the box to the side and get into it, shall we? Yeah, it's been very, very snowy and icy here in Virginia, and I've been enjoying it a lot, a lot, a lot. So pretty to look at because <laughs> where I am in Ireland it never ever snows that's okay I'm gonna just let the drills slide out oh, I really have... oh. okay so inside here we have the instructions look inside if you have not done so already it has a coupon code for you I also have coupon codes for people who are new to Diamond Art Club and I have an affiliate link. If you click the link and you've never purchased from Diamond Art Club, but then you purchase from them for the first time, I am gonna get a small commission. Thank you so much if you choose to do that. If you don't, it's fine, no problem. And if you've already purchased from them, I totally understand. Um, holy cow, that is a lot of drills. We're gonna go through this in a few minutes so that you can see all the different colors but it's very, very colorful, super colorful. I love it a lot. And let's look at this canvas. Okay, so, <laughs> one second. I'm gonna need more space. Okay, I'm a little embarrassed because you can see where I'm set up now between two windows, which is the perfect place in this house to make videos at the moment, and this is my tripod. So please excuse that side of the screen, um, but here we go. We look, this is the canvas. It has, it's a velvet backed canvas. So it's super soft to work with. It's very malleable compared to other kits that you buy elsewhere. Wow, this is a big picture. <laughs> okay, can you see? Yeah. Holy cow. All right, so a trick if you wanna lay it flat is just to roll it the opposite way. I know, I know. You're gonna see in here that there's like little uh, tracks in the glue and I'm gonna explain that in a second. But let me just see if you can see this properly or not. Maybe sorta, kinda. There's a little bit of glare on this side. It does look really good. I can't wait to see this one completed. Let go curtain. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so let's see if we can find some elements. We have cherry blossom trees, um, this pine tree up here, very pretty. You can obviously see the bridge Ooh. and the gates. I think you can see all that and all these beautiful flowers. Now this is all what we call confetti where there's a lot of different colors in a small area, but it's so fun to do because it's like hunting and pecking for the right color. <laughs> you have your little panda, so cute. And you have the lanterns, this beautiful fence, which is gorgeous. And then we've got another stone lantern here. There's even texture in the sidewalk, which is something that I noticed in the picture itself. Here, you can see the texture. See the texture there? Really good. It is a really good representation. You can even see the birds that are in the sky. And I think they did a pretty good job with this tree as well. And that one too. Very nice. I like it a lot. 66 colors is quite a lot, to be honest. Um, but it works. It doesn't look like it's too much because you've got such a huge range of color. You know what I mean? So... If I put this to scale, I think the picture itself is like three, almost three feet, two and a half feet wide. It's huge. <laughs> I mean, 
I don't know if this is this is my leg and my foot and it goes further than my hip so and I'm a tall girl so that is this painting very pretty I love the panda that's eating the bamboo that's adorable so let's go ahead and look at the colors and then I'm going to show you where the specialty drills the aurora borealis drills go um, before we do that I'm just gonna have a look here now I don't do this often because I do review diamond art club quite a lot but I just wanted to to make a note here so sometimes and I'll try to put a picture in so that you can see it up close Sometimes you'll see tracks running through and it looks like there's no glue there or it's a river. It's not a river. What happens is, is that these canvases from Diamond Art Club, they're covered with a thick layer of a glue that is very sticky, but kind of gummy. If that's, if you understand my meaning, it's, it's very, um, yeah, gummy is a good way to put it, I think. And what happens is they, they roll it onto the canvas and they let it cure. And then they put on this layer of plastic. When they do that, they then roll it up for shipment. And when they roll it up, it sometimes gets this uh, almost like a, a dent in the glue. And you can see exactly where they are. The dent comes from actually the plastic just being rolled. So. In this case, I can see that there are, there's one area here that looks like, looks like it has no glue, but it does. It's still sticky and I can show you. Warning, do not pull back the entire piece of plastic. Just don't do it. So here, I will have to take a picture for you. Um, but when you shine it in the light, you'll be able to see that there's these like long streaks in it. I promise you it will not harm your canvas. You will not have an issue putting diamonds on that. Um, I've worked with Diamond Art Club canvases for many years now and I've never had a problem. If for some reason there is a problem, let's say that it isn't sticky or let's say that the, for whatever reason, the plastic is hard to pull up or something that's abnormal, definitely contact their customer service and uh, you know, show them pictures and explain what's happened and they will fix it for you. Um, but this, the, the dents, that's all I wanted to show you is that the dents are not harmful to the canvas. They won't hurt anything. They, it's still sticky. It's just the nature of a poured glue canvas that they have those kind of tracks. They're, they're not rivers. That's, that's the main thing. So let's get down in the business say, and open up this thing of drills. I don't think I'm gonna get them back in like that. Let's just um, get you a little closer. Alrighty, so now I can sit properly and actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's see, so this is the first one. See how it was like, it's here, but then all of these are wrapped around it. Yeah, I'm never gonna get it back in like that again. All right, let's 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 give it a go. So we have some cornflower blue and gray, 666. Yeah, awkward. <laughs> uh, 743, 907, ooh, 907 is really pretty. If you don't want to see me showing the colors, I'll just put a timestamp down below so that you can skip it. Um, I like to look at them because just like any other kit, I'm looking at the quality of the diamonds. I'm looking at the color and the shape. And these are really, really nice. Ooh, we have an AB. So this is an Aurora Borealis diamond. See how it has that iridescent coating on it? Just a little bit extra. Um, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of like the 90s child that's in every kit. So this kit, I think it has three, let me check, show you how you, you check, is that any number under 150 
on the Diamond Art Club is an AB, an Aurora Borealis. So we have 141, 135, and 133. And this one is the 133. Very pretty. 3865, 3609. It's been a few weeks since I've diamond painted, and these drills look so small when you've been away from it for a while. <gasps> Ooh, my favorite color. Look, 550. So pretty. Royal purple. All right. So that was the middle strip, which I'm definitely not going to get back in there like that. <laughs> which one is next? Let's just go from the outside, I guess. All right, 906, lots of that. 3608, 890, oh my goodness, there's three big bags. So that must be like in the trees, I'm assuming. 3860, here's another AB, so pretty. It's got that, I call it unicorn skin, it's so pretty. It's got like um, pinks and blues and greens. Very, very nice. And I think these are probably going to be in the top of the mountain. 728, 602. This one does really well with this one. <laughs> the watermelon colors. It's 779, 321. Don't fall asleep, y'all. 3755, 600. Ooh, that's really pretty. 754 and 334. Which I thought we had, we did. We had a little bit on this one too. Okay. Having a little bit of a memory workout in this video today. 3371 is the darkest brown closest to 310 that you can get. Unfortunately, there's not a lot, of, a huge range in the brown family in diamond painting because of DMC colors. 310. I suppose it has something to do with dyes. 3607, 3861. Oh my goodness. 905. We have three bags. Yeah. And 904. We have four bags. Goodness. Now we got some browns. So 434, 3864. And this one has a little hitchhiker there. 783, which is the color of the hat that I just made. Please excuse the the noise of the thingy outside. 818, 782. Oh, 782 is closer to that hat that I made. 938. And now I think this is the last one. The last strip. So 38, 37, 3841. I can see you nodding off. 951. 797, 799. This color reminds me of the the cookware that had ducks on it. 3823, 333, another pretty color. 892, 644, 3854, 820, still one of my favorites. Really pretty blue. 993. 165, 841, 317, 3814, 992, oh, so pretty, 718, 135, okay, so we have another AB, this is the third AB, and this one, ooh, look, the iridescent coating went on the bottom of that one, I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> that's an accident, but it's pretty, it's like a, a green, kind of a pea green with the iridescent coating on top. Pretty. And 3778. And then we have a little strip here of three bags of 895, 898, 433, and 758. So those are all of our colors. Now, Let's look at where those AB drills go. All right, so let's start in order. So number one is the orange AB color, and that one's kind of obvious because there's only a little bit of orange in this painting. 
It's mainly in these Tory gates. It's also sprinkled in a few places where there are flowers, like over here, here, and right here, and also in the bush, just over here and there. The AB color number 2135 is actually sprinkled all throughout the greenery. So it's all up there. It's highlighted in a lot of the branches here in little spots just like that here. Uh, anywhere where they wanted just a little bit of pop, just here in the bushes like that. Um, and I don't think it's in the bushes here at the bottom, mainly where the sunlight would hit. And then the last AB is number 141, number three, 141. And I thought it was actually gonna be all of the mountain top, but it's actually just here highlighting the outside of the mountain and then it's actually scattered more in the flowers all of the white that you see scattered down here that is all the ab also on the top of the pandas where the sunlight hits that's all ab uh, it's sprinkled here in the pathway and then more flowers on top of this lantern and over here as well so it's actually uh, more evenly distributed than I anticipated. When I saw that big old bag, I didn't realize that it was gonna be all throughout the painting and not just over there on the mountain, which is really good because then it won't be so overpowering to the eye. You know, your, your eyes won't be only focused to that one spot. And I think that's very important if you're thinking about trying to um, bling up your own canvas, you know, that doesn't have any kind of ABs in it already. If you wanted to repurpose your leftover drills into another painting, um, that might be something you'd be interested in, uh, and just some food for thought. Overall, I'm really happy with this painting. I think that the size is actually really good because if it went any bigger, I don't know if I'd have the willpower to finish it. There are a lot of people out here and I'd love to know what kind of diamond painter you are. Do you prefer small kits to get them done fast? Or do you like the big challenged kits? <laughs> the ones that are longer than your average human? Um, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to know what type of diamond painter you are. Do you wanna get them out fast or you wanna work on them for a few months? Uh, either way, I hope that you enjoyed this little tour through this canvas Fujiflora by Dominic Davison and Diamond Art Club. If you're interested in the kit, the link is down below. Again, it's an affiliate link, so please click on it if you're a new customer. And even if you have purchased from Diamond Art Club again, it'll send you straight over to the website. No worries at all. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing. Make sure to check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Links are down below. And I will see you all soon in my next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.